Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Rangers. We'll be at Hamilton today in the Landbrook's Premiership. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Currently sitting second in the table. We are three points clear of St Johnson. A victory today with the possibility to take us obviously at six points clear before St Johnson have to go to Celtic Park. So let's make the most of this. Make sure we can get that advantage. We've beaten Hamilton all three times that we've, we've come up against them. Ryan Jack unfortunately unable to play today so Jordan Rosita will step in. Um, Marco Bellinese will come back on the bench for Danny Wilson um, other than that I think we're pretty much going to go with the team that we have here which will be Fodringham Tavernier, Alves Cardoso Nudson, Rositer Dorans O'Halloran Peña, Candeas and Herrera I don't think we want to try anybody else on that left hand side it's not Candeas' preference but I'm going to give him a go o uh, O'Halloran's done pretty good for us um, and, and Herrera's done well since he's come in, Morelos is on a bit of a dry spell just now so we're going to stick with Herrera up front. He did pretty well in the last game out, although we ultimately didn't end up winning that one, a draw away at Partick. <clears throat> so we really need to get back to winning ways and put a run of games together here. <clears throat> Skipping our tunnel interview, as usual, Wes Fodringham's 100th appearance today is a good achievement for him, I guess. Uh, Herrera finding Dorans at the start, now it's Bruno Alves, and it's out wide to Tavernier. Moves it quickly to Rositer. Hopefully we can get something going here today. Need a big victory. Two injured players actually starting for Hamilton today. They're in Saracen Doherty. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. 60 odd percent possession for us. Clearly we're doing well in terms of keeping the ball. But no chances created in the opening 20. Despite three shots all hitting the target. Opening half hour now. Nothing really created. It's become far too easy for teams to simply shut us down. Uh, as Donati lines up this one for Hamilton forward for Ta Thomas trying to battle there as Dorans he does very well to win it plays it forward to Herrera he does have support up there he goes for Tavernier it hits Rositer comes back to Peña and pff, somehow we've managed to make a mess of that Dorans now Candia should be making that run there you go Dorans with a great ball to him Candia's trying to cut in on that right hand uh, that right foot sorry Nudson whips it in and it's a terrible pass by the left back terrible cross I should say Woods easily claiming that one and we've blown a pretty good chance to actually hit them on the counter there when we cut out that ball into the box from Donati. Uh, as Cardoso heads it forward to O'Halloran, skips by a man, plays it to Herrera. Can he take on the man he can? Can he get the shot away? He does, and it's 1-0. Questions over Woods there. Eduardo Herrera, though, continuing a scoring streak, finds the net. Let's actually praise them at the moment. We need to boost that morale whenever they do something good, I think. So it was a good goal there from Herrera. Technically O'Halloran getting an assist for that one, but it was all Herrera's work. As Longridge throws it to Koulibaly now, back out to Longridge. We have to be closing him down quicker. Far too much time to cross it, but it will be easy for Fodringham. If we can get a two-goal lead before the break, that'd be excellent. I don't trust us with a one-goal lead at this at this time with the form that we're in. It's forward. Saris manages to clear it all the way over the top. It should be back for Fodringham. Catches it again. Fodringham can go out to Tavernier, I think, who just puts this down at feet. Walks out with it a bit. Down to feet, Fodringham. Oh, he just launched it, though, towards Peña. He's never going to get there. Saris clears it again. Herrera nods it forward, but it will be picked up by Saris. And in Gakutu, in Gakutu, over the top for Koulibaly. Too easily beyond the defenders. He's in on the keeper, and he's put it wide. Jesus. Right, concentrate. Oh, I can't tell him to concentrate. That was poor from the centre-backs there. We do actually have... A little pre-contract offer in on somebody just now. We're waiting for a work permit come through for a centre-back, but we're touching that after the game. Candias whipping the ball in. Herrera down for Peña, and he's blazed it over the bar. Not good stuff there from Carlos Peña. But we look like we're going into half-time with a one-goal lead at least. It's something. Double the number of shots, double the number on target. We've definitely been the better side. So hopefully we can keep that going. Uh, I'm going to tell them that I'm happy with them rather than tell them um, rather than warn them about complacency you have to be positive here I'm going to bring Barrow on on the left hand side rather than Candias. Candias hasn't flourished out there but that's to be expected he prefers the right hand side I'm just trying to get something that works because O'Halloran's actually playing pretty well since he came back from St Johnson uh, as Dorans can intercept that ball plays it forward to Herrera quickly Herrera running towards goal trying to hold the ball up Donati brings him down free kick to start the second half And the free kick will be taken by Tavernier, but I don't imagine it will come to much, if anything at all. Tavernier hits it, it's Woods fumbling it away. That's not exactly confident goalkeeping from Gary Woods there. 
and a positive start to the second half as well. So we would hope that Barrow would be able to take a run actually at the right back there who's pretty knackered as Thomas launching it forward. Tavernier should get there. He doesn't. He misjudges it. Ezekiel's on to this. Bit worried about this now. He can cross it to Koulibaly. He doesn't have much marking but it's a terrible cross and it's easily pammed aside by Fodringham. Koulibaly can't quite get there beyond the defenders and O'Halloran will bring that clear. But that was really poor from Tavernier allowing that to drop in over his head there. Can't be happy with that. I think what we're going to do now is take Dorans off for the last 20 minutes and bring on Barjonas here. On he comes. Um, no other change is going to be made. I think we might bring on Thompson for a brief appearance. Just in the last 10 minutes or so. Uh, or do we bring on Milanese? Do you know what? No, we'll bring on Jordan Thompson here. We'll bring him on for Knudsen. Thompson can go to left back uh, as Gary Woods takes the goal kick towards that position. Thompson has to clear this. He does not win the header. Gogic to Koulibaly now. Koulibaly plays it forward to Gillespie. A nice touch. Gets a shot away and it's hit the bar and went over. Jeez, oh. Right, we need to tighten up here. Not good. Three injured players actually currently on the park for Hamilton. Hopefully they don't manage to get anything. They've got three up now. Bruno Alves heads that away. Peña with a lovely touch plays it to Barjonas. Hopefully they've got too many players up and they'll get caught in the back. It's forward for Barrow who can't beat Saris to it. Barrow is not impressed since joining. It's over the top of Thompson. He won't get there before Biabe. Biabe will play it over the top. And it's in for Gogic. Come on, Fodringham. Oh, piss off. And it's a goal. The last minute of the game, Hamilton have equalised for 1-1, which seems to be the predictable scoreline for us now. Maybe we should have tightened up there, went more defensively. Uh, Koulibaly with the ball out to McMahon now, but it's going to end, I suspect. Yep, 1-1. Proceed with tactical changes. Who cares? Game's over. No. Had to be put on blast again. It's absolutely unacceptable performances. Crumbling at the back, unable to hold on to something. It's just... It's no good enough at all. Should I have changed it up? Maybe, I suppose, in response to them going three up, but... I don't know. To be honest, I never really noticed that they were three up until... until we actually seen it in a highlight, and then it's too late at that point. That's something that actually kind of annoys me about Football Manager. I don't exactly know how they would implement this in terms of game mechanics. But really there should be dynamic changes. You know, even if a highlight is in play and a manager tells his centre-back to drop... Uh, sorry, his central midfielder to drop in and help out the central defenders. They don't wait until the ball goes out of play before the central midfielder takes, takes note of that instruction. But we move on, I suppose. We move on to the Partick Thistle game now. We've got Cranjkar leaving on the 20th, just before the Partick Thistle game on the 21st. St Johnson at Parkhead now. You'd expect them to get battered. He was hoping that does happen. It was a 2-2. So St Johnston still only the three points behind, and they actually, believe it or not, have a superior goal difference. So we really, we really do have to be careful. We've got Partick Thistle coming up, of course, in the cup just now. We need to beat them at Ibrooks. We need a strong, confident performance from us. I think we might go to something different. I think what we're gonna here's what we're gonna do. Let's change the tactics just now. We're gonna have a look at this formation, however. We're gonna go with two up. And we're gonna play like this. What we're gonna do, we're gonna have the three at the back, we're gonna have the two wing backs, and we're gonna have the central midfielders, one attacking central midfielder, and we're gonna be playing Candias, uh, not Candias. We're going to be playing Morelos and Herrera together up front. So we'll clear this out just now. We're playing control, possession. <coughs> Higher up. Um, fairly narrow, short possession, retain, uh, short pass and retaining possession. So we're going to play a real possession play base game. We're going to play Fodringham. We're going to play Cardoso. We're going to play Bruno Alves just to see if any of them prefers the middle. Yeah, Bruno Alves prefers the middle. Cardoso doesn't have a side preference. And we're also going to play Marco Milanese in there. Does he have a side preference? He does not. What foot do they all prefer to use? Milanese is left-footed. I'm assuming Cardoso will be right-footed. 
Uh, he is, so that's perfect. That's how we're going to line them up in terms of the wing backs. We're going to have James Tavernier, and on the left, we're going to have Jonas Knudsen. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them as automatic. In the midfield, we're going to have Ryan Jack. He's going to be in here as a deep line playmaker with the defensive role. We're going to also play Graham Dorans in there, and he will, of course, be an advanced playmaker as usual. Carlos Pena will be an advanced. Well, do we really need two advanced playmakers? Carlos Pena can just be a regular attacking midfielder in behind, and we'll have Herrera and we'll have Morelos playing as two strikers up front play an advance forward for Morelos and Herrera of course will be that complete forward role supporting him in behind in terms of the bench I mean let's actually why does it do this it annoys me that they're out of order now um, let's sort it by position and then we'll sort it by role no it's still out of order so we've got Alnick there um, now we have to look for our defenders we've got Danny Wilson Jordan Houston Jordan Thompson um, who else do we want on the bench? We want O'Halloran and we want Candias on the bench. And we will also throw Barjonas onto the bench here. And that's what we're going to be going when we play Partick in three days' time. So we're in that formation just now, getting that trained up. The boys know what to expect when we play Partick here. Obviously they'll be getting drilled on that in the tactical meeting before we play the game. And that is Montreal Impact now picked up Nico Kranjkar. He's went on 2.9k, which actually surprises us. He was getting a lot more than that. He was getting 8 grand or something here. So thankfully we've got that off the wage bill. Partick Thistle coming up tomorrow will be coming to Ibrox. After we went to Firhill, we really need a victory because we seem to be getting 1-1 almost every week. Um... Oh well, it doesn't look like our man's getting a work permit. We appealed the work permit. Decision today, work permit appeal rejected. So nope, we have to cancel the deal because he's not getting his work permit, which is a shame because he looked a damn good defender. Nice uh, mental stats there, decent physical. Technical could use a bit of work, but he's got the three core for a, a centre back there. Um, so he would have been a good player, but unfortunately he's not coming in. It would have been nice to get him in on a free as well, but... The home office has obviously screwed us over on that one. So, now we've got this replay in the Scottish Cup here at home to Partick. St Mirren host Aberdeen, Motherwell hosting Hibs and Kelly hosting Dundee United. Home wins across the board, please. Two wins for us and two draws for us against Partick in our previous four meetings. If we have a look at the schedule here, the last couple of games, one, two, three games in a row were 1-1. One, one. The game before that was 2-2. Two, two. Then we get a rare 2-1 win over County. Then it was 2-2 again. I mean, we really have to stop conceding. We haven't had a clean sheet since the end of December, which is absolutely ludicrous since we're now approaching the beginning of March. And we've got Celtic coming up soon, so we have to be in better form by the time we play them. So we're going with this. Uh, this three at the back, wing back tactics. We're up against a 4-2-3-1 here. And a formation we were actually battering earlier on in the season where we were on our excellent run of games where... Believe it or not, we won eight games in a row to start the season, and now we can't we can't buy a win. <laughs> okay, let's get good performances here today, please. So we're actually not controlling possession as much as we were on our attacking formation, which is annoying since the purpose of this tactic is actually to control possession. But Nudson's long throw, nobody in the box for it for some weird reason. I don't understand why the match engine is producing that either. Uh, Dorans picks it up from Alves and it's been nicked by Partick Thistle because we're too sloppy Lawless back to Booth being pressed back to Cherney being pressed he launches it over the top Dorans nicks it Tavernier should get there before the Partick man and he does slips it through for Peña will he get here? he will plays it to Morelos who hits a dig and it's somehow beyond Thomas Cherney Alfredo Morelos breaks the Breaks the dry spell. It's a lovely finish from 20 yards. Thomas Cherney will want that one back. He was clawing it thin air there. But nonetheless, it is 1-0 after only 15 minutes. So hopefully the new tactic is bearing some fruit. Long way to go, of course. Had the lead in the last game and ended up blowing it in the final minute. 30 minutes gone. Controlling possession. Partick yet to have a shot on target. Corner to be taken by Peña. Whips it in. It's headed away by Keown. Jack will pick that up, plays it to Dorans. 
plays it to Milanese, just pass it. Just pass it, simple pass. There you go, Dorans picks it up. Looking for an option, there's not enough width to go down the flank. Milanese now could go to Dorans, he goes into Jack, that was good play. He can hit Pena. No, he chooses Tavernier, that's an excellent ball. Can he find somebody in the middle for to double the lead? It's in for Morelos, he doubles the lead. <clears throat> Brilliant stuff. Absolutely excellent. 2 nothing, and they should not be coming back from 2 nothing. Ibrox absolutely jumping, literally. Okay, so controlling possession, bossing the game, two goals up, Partick yet to have a shot on target, Dorans to cut this back, you'd think, no, he whips it, Cardoso flicks it, but it's well held by Thomas Cherney. I wonder why we didn't cut that back to the edge of the box there, because there was acres of space to do so. Nonetheless, that's nitpicky, it's been a brilliant half, an absolutely excellent half, Morelos is back, he has two goals, Herrera in beside him perhaps, I don't know, distracting defenders or something, because he doesn't look to be doing much else. But I don't want to be too harsh on them because the team is doing well. Uh, we will bring on Barionas for Graham Dorans. Morelos now to Peña. Peña to Barionas. Back through for Peña. Not a great ball, but it will run for him. Tavernier on the right. Can he whip it? Come on, whip it. Nope. Booth with a good tackle. Callum Booth. And that's the start of the half. Oh, and it's Booth now with a free kick. Come on, Fodringham. Don't let this in. Booth has a nice shot. It's just wide of the post. Fodringham should have had it covered. Uh, still part it yet to have a shot on target. Let's hope we can get a really, really solid clean sheet today. Baronas whipping the corner. Cardoso is in there, flicks it down. Peña volleys it in. 3 nothing. And I think it's safe at this point to say we are through to the next round of the cup. And I think it's also safe to say that the change in tactic has done us a world of good today. Excellent. We tried the change before putting two up, going a more direct formation. Didn't work for us. Made me revert back to what we what we tried earlier on in the season when we were blowing teams away. But it still wasn't clicking for us. We've changed it up a bit today, and it seems to be doing wonders. Wilson can come on actually now for Cardozo, just to get Wilson some fitness. Uh, Edwards with the, the corner kick for Partick now. It's whipped in and forging him with a great save, double save actually. It's still around in there, and it's eventually cleared away. I think it was. Maybe Tavernier was it? I'm not sure. Cleared away there. 15 minutes to go till we get that. Coveted clean sheet. Two shots on target now for Partick, unfortunately. So we haven't completely shut them down today as Booth plays it forward to Edwards, who plays it in behind for Doolin. Doolin's in. He's probably going to score here. Doolin, and he's dragged it wide somehow. Not good stuff, but the defenders are going to need to tighten up there at the back because that's not good enough. Letting a guy run off you like that, particularly a guy like Chris Doolin is not exactly blessed with electric pace, getting in behind off the shoulder. But it looks, for all the world, like we're going to get a shutout for the first time in about two months. Played forward toward Osman, headed down for Elliot now. Christy Elliot forced wide here for Partick. Come on, we're 40 seconds over the allotted time. Elliot, ball in is poor, it'll be a goal kick, which hopefully we won't even have time to take. And it's full time, 3 nothing. For once, a confident result. We'll not get blown away by this, do you know? Mm, I don't appear to be able to say, why can't you play like that every day? Anyway, I'm just going to tell them that it was a good win for us. Keep that morale boosted there. Uh, unfortunately, we were the only home team that won. Dundee United threw in penalties. Hibs threw 3-2 over Motherwell. And Aberdeen with a 2-1 win against St Mirren. So that draws us against Dundee United in the Scottish Cup. Manila is, of course, ending his goal drought uh, in style. Get the two goals today. Uh, let's have a little look. Is Louis Moult still? Louis Moult is still there. He's out for a couple of weeks just now. How is he doing? He's doing okay. He has nine goals in the league. Still looks to be a good player. And he has signed a new deal with Motherwell here. Um, oh, I was advancing actually to see... Uh, the next day's Scottish Cup fixtures but I don't think there are any because those were replays of course uh, Jose Antonio Caro, do we want to look at him? Nah, he looks alright anyway, so that's going to be it for this episode 
Obviously a disappointing result against Hamilton, blowing it in the last minute, but we did bounce back the new tactic, 3-0 over Partick. Hopefully we can carry that forward into the next set of fixtures when we're going to be playing Hearts, and then we're going to be up in Perth against St Johnson. Hopefully we can put to bed any notion that they're going to steal second place from us, but we need to beat Hearts first and foremost in Edinburgh before we go into that one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It was a good game. We played okay, actually, against Hamilton, but we screwed it up in the last minute. Perhaps that's on me. But then I changed that tactic. We went into the Partick Thistle game, two up front. We got a confident game out of them. Okay, we had a couple of shaky moments at the back, but that's to be expected. It's not going to turn into a rock-solid defensive force overnight. But we managed to bag three goals. Scoring's been a bit of a problem for us recently, so I'm glad we've done that. Got the clean sheet, and that gives us confidence going into the next couple of games. So, as I say, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, you can drop down below and leave a like on the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you want to follow the series, you can subscribe to the channel, of course, for which, as I always say, I would be eternally grateful. But overall, just thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when we're taking on Hearts and St. Johnson.